partition the vertex set of the given graph into two sets one set is i and the remaining set is v minus i so i is corresponding to the independent set so as you can see in the left circle edges are missing between blue vertices and this is the remaining set which is nothing but v minus i so now ultimately we want to establish relation between independent set and vertex cover so let's try to visualize what is happening with respect to edges because why we are observing edges because ultimately we want to cover all the edges and that particular per, uh, parameter is corresponding to vertex cover so now we can partition edges into two parts red edges and orange edges so red edges are across this partitions right it's going from left circle to right circle and orange edges are within right partition right and all the edges can be partitioned like this because ultimately there won't be any edges within the independent set right so from this what can we say about the vertex cover which elements should we select so that we can say that that particular set is corresponding to vertex cover so let's start uh, if if i select all the vertices which belong to this particular set then ultimately i will be able to cover all the red edges but i won't be able to cover any of the orange edges so therefore i can't select i as vertex cover now let me consider the second scenario if i select all the edge all the vertices of uh, v minus i partition then ultimately i will be able to cover all the orange edges because all the orange edges have both the endpoints within this particular partition as well as red edges because red edges have at least one endpoint incident to v minus i so ultimately we can say that v minus i is nothing but vertex cover so now let me take three scenarios in the first scenario which we which i have just discussed i is an independent set and v minus i is vertex cover now let me say that this i in the second scenario let me say that this i is corresponding to maximal independent set remember the word maximal okay so if i is maximal independent set that means i can't add any additional vertex this side so that means from where i am supposed to add vertex this side from this set so ultimately i can't pick any vertex from here to here right so i is maximal so definitely that means definitely v minus i is minimal right so i can't add anything here and the equivalent way to say this is i can't remove anything from here so in the second scenario if i is maximal independent set then v minus i is minimal vertex cover and let me consider the last scenario if i is corresponding to maximum independent set in that particular case this is the largest possible independent set right i and i maximum is also maximal so i can't add anything extra i can't re remove anything from this side so ultimately what we can say this this is maximum and this is minimum so we can say that alpha zero elements are present in this circle and beta zero elements are present in this circle and ultimately as you can see alpha zero plus beta zero is equal to total number of vertices which is nothing but n We'll use this particular relation in order, in order to derive results for basic classes of graphs in the next tutorial. Thank you.